Oh, for the love of Mike. Oh, sorry, it's working. Hi! Uh, I sure am loud today, aren't I? I'm having problems with my voice modulation because I'm so freaking tired. Came in. Seven. Uh, I don't know. It started with a seven. That's how early it was. That's, that's bad enough. I had a product uh, preview. And I got on. I got on the call. I got on the WebEx. Uh, not a WebEx. The live meeting. And nobody was there. And someone had written on the wall. Uh, unfortunately, we have to reschedule this meeting. No notice. This is a set up uh, one of the laws of meetings that I have discovered, which I share with you now. And I shared with you earlier on Twitter if you follow me. Follow, why don't you follow me on Twitter? The earlier a meeting is, the less notice you will get as to its cancellation. So 4, 4 p.m. meeting, they'll tell you like three days before that one's canceled. A 7.45 meeting, you will not find out until 7.44. Oh, yeah, we had to cancel that. Sorry you got up and we're in three hours earlier than you expected. Oh, Lordy. I sure am glad I got that out of my system. From the beautiful office in Roseville, Minnesota, it's me, your old pal, Chris. And we're, oh, 154. 57 days until the first Timberwolves game of the year. It's about all I have to look forward to, because last night I chose the Giants in the W Survival League. And as they constantly said over and over, thanks, Al Michaels, thanks, Chris Collinsworth, for the past eight years, when they, from the inception, setting up the kickoff game, the defending Super Bowl champion, playing at home, has won eight times in a row, four, five, six, seven, eight times in a row, until last night where the Giants lost to the Cowboys. And it really wasn't even close, although they tried to make it exciting in the end. With Eli Man uh yeah, that's his name. Eli Manning style football. I was going to say basketball. It's, my mind is... First of all, I'm thinking about basketball. Second of all, I'm having problems with words because I'm so tired. I don't know why I stayed up late, but I did. And usually it's because I'm watching a political convention. I mean, this time it was a, a football game. And not even that. I mean, the football game ended normal time. But my wife started watching Speed. And she told me she had never seen Speed before. And I, I couldn't believe it. And I couldn't believe it so much that I ended up watching most of Speed before I finally fell asleep out of exhaustion. And got maybe, what, three or four hours of sleep before I got up. Because I had to wash my hair. I don't know if you noticed. Look how full, full of body it is. Look how badly it needs to be brushed where I can't reach it. I hope that my wife will brush my pretty, pretty hair. I'm not even sure what my point was. What was my point? Oh, my point is I've been here nine hours. It is currently 4.58 p.m. temperature outside. Let's ask the weather bug. I don't believe it's actually 77 degrees because for the first time in quite a while, it actually started raining. But it was 80 degrees when it started raining. Yeah, it says 77. I guess we'll go for it. It's not actually raining so much as sprinkling, but given the fact that we haven't seen any rain in nearly forever, it must be 559. 459? 2012 MLB playoff standings with four weeks left. This was the first year in a while we didn't have a 2012 MLB playoff standings at the All-Star break. For some reason, those pull in a lot of referrals, so you missed your point. You missed uh, uh, the boat, the prospective uh, hundreds of referrals and whatever feeling of satisfaction that gives you from having contributed to the Internet in a way that people search for. Here's to you. Oh my god, you guys. I'm so tired. I'm still here. If I got here before 8, and it's 5 now, I've already been here 9 hours because I did not go to, to get lunch. I sure wish I had. 
Not only did I have that three and a half hour meeting, which was canceled at the last minute, but I ended up with one, two, three, four consecutive conference calls in a row in the afternoon, thus my not going to get lunch, and also trying really hard to time my bathroom breaks for the five minute period between, uh, it's just like high school, isn't it? When you think about it, bell rings, you got five minutes, go pee, and then you gotta go to the next class. Except, I'm older, so peeing takes longer. It's also a longer haul to walk down. <sighs> There's so much from my vacation I still haven't even talked about. Thursday is usually when I take the viewer mail, however. Um, do I still have that? Yeah, I do, but not here. Lisa went to all the trouble of making me start a new thread so she could ask me something. And I have ignored her long enough. The irony is she won't see this because she's out of uh, her home state and off uh, partying without my brother. Uh -huh. I know what's going on there. Uh, that's not it. This is it. Lisa wants me to remind, uh, to remind me that her wedding and my wedding was the same year. Like that's going to help me remember how many years she's been married. How many years have I been married? Actually, it will be nine years in just under a month. And I have not bought a present yet. If anybody has any good ideas, uh, fortunately, Kim doesn't watch these, so we can talk about it if you want. Um, is the ninth anniversary an important one? I think you can kind of slough off the ninth anniversary because you're so worried about the tenth anniversary that you're not going to worry too much about the ninth. But those of you who watch this who have been married more years than I may have a different opinion on that which I'd be happy to receive. Uh, I'm thinking of two people in particular, both of whom have posted in this thread over here. What was your favorite part of your vacation? Not the part where I was sick. Any part where I wasn't sick was my favorite part. Uh, I went to two very good shows, which I'll have to talk about later, but I went to a Nidosaur show where they broke in their new drummer. He's pretty good. I, I still miss the old drummer because he would really wail on one song. But if we can teach the new drummer to sing that song, I think we're, we're in it for Nidosaur. To learn more about Nidosaur, visit nidosaur.bandcamp.com. Uh, Flea likes them. You should, too. Are the rumors about a Prince show in your area in September anything more than rumor? Uh, even by the time you had posted that, it had been shot down uh, with, I don't know, permit problems or, or Prince changed his mind or something. Speaking of Prince, though, he was at the other show I went to. We went to see F Deluxe, formerly The Family, at the Dakota Jazz Club. We went to, they announced the second show after I bought tickets to the first show. The first show was so great, and our seats were so good that uh, fresh from the high of having attended their concert, we immediately went and got two semi-obstructed seats for the second show. What I hear from the second show, though, and the reason that I brought this up to tie it all back together, there is a process here. Uh, eventually, you'll see it. Prince was apparently at the second show. Uh, up in the mezzanine. And he may have, in fact, had the very same seats I had in the first show. I don't know. I didn't know he was there till later. But for an encore of the second show, they had a couple of new power generation, yeah, that still exists, members uh, join the F Deluxe guys for some jamming, which wasn't all that exciting, really. But Photos from both those concerts can be found on my Facebook page. And if you're not following me as my friend on Facebook, I ain't got time for you. Prince is going to Chicago, but I am not. What were the best and worst things you ate at the Great Minnesota get-together? I only have a minute left. We're going to have to table that for tomorrow. Are you planning on adding an empty chair to any of your videos this week? Oh, man, I can't do it like Clint could. Get off my lawn. We got one more night of Democrats tonight. And then I hope we never talk about the election again. Ha! we still got two more months of this crap. Let me tell you the good news about Gary Johnson. Oh, never mind. That's going to have to do it for today. I am running out of time so quickly. Thank you for watching once again. Uh, let's do it again tomorrow. Why not? God willing, I'll be here. Or God willing, I'll fall ass backwards into money and never have to come back. Then what do we do? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>